Okay, Travel Lodge in Queen Street, room 106. Can you guess the price of this? Prices are outrageous during the festival. This was the cheapest hotel we could find in central Edinburgh. Uh, it's a twin room, the double was the same price as well. It's actually not that bad, to be fair. We'll check behind the couple in a second to see the view. This room off peak, if you're booking this January, February, and a Sunday night, you get this room for £30 or something. But the festival, it's completely different, as you can see. It's perfectly acceptable, no complaints whatsoever. Shower looks fine. Always book through the official Travel Lodge website. Um, can't get really any cheaper than that, so always through the Travel Lodge. It pains me to see it, viewers. Oh, look at the wee view, wee side alley. Bins outside, that could be problematic during the night, early morning, doing a bin run. We'll see. Pains me to see, viewers, this room was £115. Can you believe it? I've stayed in a five-star hotel for this price, but it is a festival. It is what it is. Very busy here. Check this out. Big dog at the Cayley. Okay, so we're at the Three Sisters now, really good venue this for live shows, we're just heading in to Maggie's Chamber, pick of the fringe, 5.45, pay what you want, you can guarantee entry for £5 and then you can just donate at the end, massive big screen here, so it's a really, really good place to come at the festival, the Three Sisters down at the Cowgate, what have they got in draft, Terence Lager, Magnus, uh, this, we've got this peach beer as well, which is quite nice, cocktails on draft as well, not the cheapest, but it is a festival. Good place to come. Okay, we're in the Parter House. We're going to see Kevin Quantum. How much is a pint of tennis lager at the fringe here? Six pounds, viewers. Can you believe it? Heavily, six pound eighty. Pint of Guinness, six pound eighty. A wee small wine, six pounds, so not the cheapest as you can imagine here. It's quite a nice bar in here, mind you. And here is my beer here, just about to take a minute of the show. Okay, down at McCune's Hall, it is so windy here, but such a nice atmosphere down here. Lots of food stalls. McCune's Hall just round the corner. Deck chairs out there, couldn't get any, but all full. Really, really busy, as you can see. A wee bakehouse here, pizza. Chicken shack over there as well. On draft, if you're interested, they've got Madre, they've got a few uh, ales as well. Star of Pramen as well. A couple of Czech beers, and they've got uh, Pims as well. And a couple of ciders there as well. So, yeah, really nice atmosphere. They've got this wee cocktail place here, cocktail in a can. Do you fancy that? There's McCune's Hall there, beautiful building, as you can see, lots of shows in there as well. Barnacles and Bones, Scottish street food over there as well. We've got a wee gin bar over there. So, pretty nice atmosphere around here. That just takes us back onto the main road. We've just come up from Chamber Street. It was at another show. Um, wasn't really to like in the show that I've been in. Made a mistake booking that one, but I'll not mention the show because everybody's got different tastes, so I'm not going to say it was a bad show. Uh, burger place there as well, and we've got the Naughty Corner over here as well. Salt and chilli chicken, chips, pretty nice eh? So decision time, we're going to head to another show shortly, decide where we're going. How nice is it here buddy? Beautiful.
Yo, Ben Case. Ben Ney. Scottish breakfast has arrived. Tatty's gone is a requirement. Okay, so just checking in to Edinburgh Central Youth Hostel. It's about a five minute walk from the Omni Centre. It's a wee bit outside the centre, this one. It's not location A, maybe location B. Seems quite a nice place, but um, I'm going to check out the room in a wee minute. The room's not ready yet, it's going to need a wee bag to come back here. Um, we have got a wee cafe, open 24 hours I believe as well. So that's pretty handy if you're coming back late at night. Okay, festival prices are crazy. Can you guess how much this youth hostel was? Very, very basic. As you can see, no towels or anything like that um, as well. It didn't tell us at reception. You could hire them or anything, so they could be doing with adding that. I don't recommend this hostel. We tiny TV there. Um, this was £107. Can you believe this? This basic room. Um, the room was roasting, so... Location-wise, it's not too bad. Five minutes away from the Omni Centre. Um, they've got this weird setup where they've separated the bathroom and the shower. So, shower, but it's a hostel, so there's no toiletries there. Like, and you bring your own. And then, sink there. And then, toilet there. So, reception's quite nice. They've got a wee cafe and everything, but, yeah, not worth the money. No, I will have no regrets All the things that went wrong Now at last I have learned to be strong No, then I Okay, we're at the EICC Pleasance and I've just seen one of the best shows I've ever seen at the Fringe. If you're a fan of Edith Pierre, you have to go and see a show if it comes back next year. Um, absolutely tremendous. No regrets. Uh, absolutely amazing show. Um, quite nice in here as well. Nice venue. Okay, down at the grass market. How nice is it here? Castle. Cold townhouse. <laughs>